Hello and welcome to the channel. This video is focusing on the DJI NEO and its ability to return home using the RC N3 controller. I really hope that you find it useful. So the equipment used for this video, the takeoff and landing pad, the DJI NEO itself and also the RC N3 controller. I'm filming this video in the north of Shrewsbury, right on the very edge of town, very close to the River Severn. This first test, the first of three in this video, is a 500 meter return test and I'll be flying out towards this sort of stately home that you can see in the distance here flying out over the River Severn and the name of the house is called Berwick House it looks like it's occupied residential sort of property at one time when it was during the pandemic this building didn't seem to have any windows in, it looked like it was unoccupied. So I think over the last couple of years it's been renovated and is now occupied, looking at it from the drone footage at least. It's autumn here in the UK at the time of the filming of this video, the end of October and as you can see all of the leaves are beginning to turn from green to the beautiful golden colour that they are. So the screen recording that's taking place here, I've got the highlight warning on for blown out footage. I'm using pro mode here, clicking the return, return, to, return home. to home button on the RCN3 controller. And as you can see, it's at 500 meters on the display and I'm at now at a height of 30 meters the sort of standard height that I've set to return home which is as you can see here well clear of all of the trees it takes about one minute to return home at 500 meters And at this point, the drone is traveling at about three and a half, four, and even up to sort of five or six meters per second. Now I'm stood just behind the tree in the middle of the screen that you can see at the moment. So just coming into shot here. Yeah, I can see myself now. So 140 meters to go, still at 30 meters in terms of height. And we'll see what the accuracy looks like in terms of this landing now. Now as the gimbal is pivoted down, you'll see an image of a drone, like a shadow superimposed onto the screen recording in the bottom left hand corner here, which is so landing. helpful in terms of landing really accurately. And I've not adjusted any of the landing at the moment. I will be clicking the tap to cancel land uh, landing button on the screen just to get a bit closer so I'll say about two meters away from the landing pad pretty accurate and you can see the drone sort of superimposed now on the screen just bringing it into land and the superimposed drone disappears as you're within landing distance. 
Landing. Didn't quite get it right first time. Landing. But landed. All good. So that's test number one. Okay, on to test number two. This time another 500 meter return to home test, but this time the altitude slightly higher, pressing the return to home return button to home. here. The altitude this time is 85 meters and the drone is in sport mode. And this means it's going to travel back slightly quicker than the speed in the first video. Uh, it's around eight meters per second. The meters um, are moving down pretty quickly, as you can see. And I'm stood right in the middle uh, of the screen here in the corner of the field with the sort of dark blob in the middle. It takes, again, just around a minute to return home from 500 meters away. So just with 100 meters to go. And I'll be moving the gimbal down to the 90 degree position looking down vertically landing so this time not quite as accurate as in the first video probably what about 12 meters away something like that I mean it's well within sight but somehow the home position as you can see in the screen recording is slightly away from me. So you can and do set your home location when the satellites all connect. So I've got a good satellite connection I can see on the screen, but you know, just a few meters away, no great shakes. So I just bring the DJI Neo back to me and that is test number two. So the third and final test of this video this time it's a 250 meter return to home test and the height this time is just 20 meters. That is enough to get me above the tree line in this beautiful part of Shropshire. This time the drone is traveling at around four meters per second. So coming up to around 150 meters here. And this time I'm traveling in normal mode. Obviously the other option is cinematic but that really is for you know, sort of really careful filming where the controls are slowed down significantly. Okay, pressing the return to home button. Return to home. And the drone spins round. And in terms of my location, I'm just the other side of the brown blob in the middle of the field that's in the middle of the picture. 
probably see me coming into shot now on the landing pad 150 meters now 100 meters meters and that brings us to zero meters rotating the gimbal down vertically landing that you can already see this is going to be a really accurate landing the landing pad is almost in the center of the screen So landing this time is pretty much within a meter or so of the, the landing pad. So the best of the three, saving the best till last. Landing. And that's touchdown. So there you go. That is the return home feature of the DJI Neo, this impressive little drone. It got me back to uh, about maybe three, four, five meters each time that I use the return home function in this demonstration. Pretty impressive, managed to uh, avoid all obstacles and using the uh, the height function of the return home so sort of set to 35 meters well above all of the the trees here so yeah very very impressed as always if you enjoyed this video please like the video please subscribe to the channel it would help me so much and i will see you in the next one